FreeMMOStation.com What's going on guys, Matt here, otherwise known as Sinister, from FreeMMOStation.com and today I'm taking a look at a newly relaunched game called Divine Souls. Now this game was launched in April of 2011, uh, but was soon taken down. And uh, now we can see it has actually relaunched, uh, and now it is in open beta. So, uh, this game was originally published by Outspark, um, but is no longer published by Outspark. It is published by GamePri, or GamePrix, or whatever you want to call it. And so, yeah, today we're going to go into the server of Dawn World, because that is the only server, and we're going to go to Channel 1. <clears throat> so I have already made a character, and I have played a little bit to check out the game. And uh, let's create a character. We'll go back on my level 3, and we'll check it out. Um, so we have four classes. We have the Fighter, the Slashers, and the Clerics, and the Mage. Or not Clerics, but Priests. Same difference. Um, the Priests, the Slashers, and the Fighters are all melee-based, except the Priest can heal as well. Uh, the Mage is ranged, you know, your normal Mage. Um, so yeah, uh, we're going to be a... We're obviously going to be a fighter because uh, of my uh, level 3, but we're going to check out the um, character customization. So we're going to we're gonna check out each one uh, quickly so we can get into some gameplay. So we have our faces here. That is the creepiest face I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> uh, so I guess this is like the evil race. Um, yeah, these are the faces. Uh, these are just tints. They're not actually the color because like... If it was, it'd be a pretty ugly dude. It's like red. Alright, we're gonna go to hair. It's pretty cool hair. Ooh, it's pretty cool animation. Uh, it's pretty, oh, I'm too zoomed in. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Again, uh, shades of color is not actually the color because if that was true, then it'd be more prominent. Alright, so now we're gonna go to mages. Different types of faces, different skin color, hair, and of course you have your your clothes to begin with, your colors. And then we got slasher, just faces, faces, not faces. <laughs> color of the face, your skin tone, hair, color of the hair, and then of course the beginning of the um, colors. Beginning colors for the I cannot speak. The beginning clothes colors. Alright, now we're going to go to our fighter, and we're going to check out his faces. Pretty cool. And then, tints of skin color. And then this helmet hair. And then we got this. Dang, that dude has some bushy eyebrows. <laughs> and then we got, we got that. Alrighty, so I went with this hair, I assume. I think. Let's go back to select character. What did I choose? No, I did not. I chose that. Come over. Alright, so let's begin. Let's get into this game. This game has uh, got some really, really fluid uh, fighting and combat, and it uh, resembles Terra in a way. Um, the, the way you fight with clicking and the uh, different spells with Z and X and F, I think. F is to like, pick them up or something like that. But uh, your auto attack, you don't have an auto attack. You just click your left mouse button. And hopefully it does not crash on me, because last time I tried to record, it crashed on me. Alright guys, so I'm back. Uh, the game did crash, but I did manage it, manage to get it back up. I think it's just because it's in open beta and they're still working on it. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, Alright, so uh, this is the main city. Uh, the game is based around dungeons, so you really there's no really open world exploration. Uh, over here there's the guild manager for 10,000, over 10k, whatever you want to call it. You can create a guild, but you must be level 20. Uh, it took me about 3 minutes to get to level 3, so that's pretty cool. The fighting in this game is amazing. I can't wait to showcase that. Um, over here is the uh, blacksmith. I did have a quest, so let's. You let's... might have a powerful weapon. Uh, this game I does have voiceover, which she's talking over me. But uh, the voiceover is actually uh, pretty good, and you know some games don't even have voiceover, so that's really really cool. Uh, the game's graphics are not um, you have top of the, the line, uh, but they are they're decent. I mean, uh, if you have a really low end computer. This, com this game will run uh, perfectly fine on probably ultra settings or high settings or whatever. The highest are uh, perfectly fine, 30 frames a second, which is really good. Um, 
Some games don't need amazing graphics to be great. Some games have amazing graphics and are, have terrible gameplay. Alright, so uh, this is the shop over here. If you are lucky, uh, buy. You might All right, have a so this is weapon. for a slasher. I am here to help. This is for my class. I do not have enough money, but if I sell things, maybe I have. I have this. I don't. I can't use this. Yes. I got this from a dungeon, which I will be showing you shortly. All right, let's get this trainee arm. Let's blow it up. Yes. Looks sexy. All right. Oh snap. I think. Did you do anything? <laughs> How do you do it? Can I not wear it? Oh, it's the same arm. Well, that's stupid. Why do they sell the same arm you come with? Alrighty. Um, so, it kind of works like Terra in a way where uh, the way you look around is with the mouse. You have no pointer. Um, uh, clicking the left mouse button will... Um, uh, fight the auto attack thing. Alright, so let's go to uh, a camp. Uh, these camps uh, are based by level and they have different dungeons in them. So we're going to go to Elon Forest and let's select it. Crossing my fingers, this game does not crash on the loading screen because that's what it usually does for me. <sighs> oh, thank God. You can create your guild by talking to the guild master manager NPC in Elon Blue Day or Blue or whatever you want to call it. Come on. Alrighty. Thank God. Oh, and we have another player. That's cool. This game does not have that much uh, publication. Not publication. Of course, it has publication. This game does not have um, a lot of publicity. Because uh, it's uh, made by a... Uh, a company that I've never actually heard of, so, and I'm pretty, I research a lot about MMORPGs, and I've never heard of Game Pre, which, I don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing, but, alright, so, uh, right before you hey, go to a dungeon, you look great. thank you, I do Want look great, stuff, oh, okay, huh? continue to talk, alright, so here's the merchant, uh, he, uh, sells potions and such, uh, we will not be buying any potions, and over here we have an enchanter, hello, Mr. Enchanter, hello, oh, got a little woman voice and you're like a dude or are you a girl oh no you are a girl you have breasts okay over here we have the deposit agency I guess for your bank it's a lot of bank space and um, over here we have Mulgum I like human they are nice <laughs> <Okey -dokey. laughs> we got scenery I like this like steampunk feel I'm getting I like that, that ship thing. It's pretty cool. Alright, so we're going to enter our dungeon. Now you can either join a party, so group up with, I think, four people, and then you can enter the dungeon. And we are going to do it solo. Solo queue it up. Um, Alright, so we have four, not three, four different types of places to go, each depending on your level, and I, I assume that they open up when you have that level. I don't know if you're allowed to get in it, but I'm not going to find out. We're going to go to the Forest of Mist, and we're going to go on easy difficulty. So let's enter. It's a pretty cool looking werewolf. A wizard organization is in four wings. Four wings. <laughs> a, wiz a wizard organization in four rings sends abnormal flow of magic and enters and lawn forest to defeat something something because I cannot read fast enough. So my gold acquire chance is times two and my MP regen is times two. Those two things uh, change every time because last time I came in here it was XP times two. So well, let's go ahead and get into the combat. That's pretty cool and fluid. Um, One thing I did notice, and I don't know if they're going to change that or that's just temporary, but it does sound like the character is inside of some sort of room uh, when he talks. So, yeah. yeah. I'm sure that would change, though. Other than that, this game is pretty cool. I got little, little spells and stuff. Killing stuff. Launches new stuff. Alright, so let me... I'm terrible at those games. <laughs> I'm not about... I, uh, more about the, um, cause I have a Razor Naga, so I, I'm really used to clicking the buttons on the side instead of spamming the mouse button. Oh, 
Um, one cool thing that these you this company is doing, Game Pre, uh, is um, and they're really uh, grasping and taking hold of the free to play co free to play concept in this game. And um, what they're doing is the cash shop actually has no um, consumables to make you get higher XP or any type of things like that. That's what they said in their interview. And so uh, they only have costumes. And today I got a costume. Um, I'm level two. All right, so uh, I got a costume. I think it's just because you're in the beta or something like that. But um, yeah, it's actually really cool how they're making this a not pay-to-win game and really taking hold of the free-to-play concept. Um, this box, every single time you level up, you get a new box. So that's really cool. I like games like that. They give you a little prize for leveling up. Alrighty, so let's get back into the game. Um, I have one more... Uh, little run and then I have the boss which uh, is pretty cool actually he's got a really big spear alright so right now I have 18 kills uh, I bet this game is uh, really cool when you run it with a lot of people Whoa. but yeah no the fighting is really fluid nothing feels choppy or anything like that no lag it's really nice you look pretty cool doing it too <laughs> I'm not gonna lie Double Kirk. All right. I'm pretty sure you can destroy this stuff if you can. I think some of it has gold in it or something like that. No, maybe not. Alrighty. The music in this game is actually pretty good. Uh, when I got into the, especially the title screen, it's very catchy. I like it a lot. Um, I don't know if it loops or not, but. And for being a game that has no uh, open world, it's actually it's actually a pretty good game. Uh, I came into this game just assuming that it wasn't going to be good just because it didn't have an open world. Because I I really like to explore games, but we're not having an open world, and it's, it's a really nice game. Congrats to something something question mark to the new dungeon Elon Forest. I guess that means I can go through that portal. Maybe. Can go to oh, now I can. Area. Let me, um, get rid of these question marks because they're annoying me. I have a friend system, and I can trade, and I can use divine skills. Alright, through the portal. Misty Forest Boss Area. Saber Fag. Alright, so, uh, at, at the end of this, um, dungeon run. Oh, look at those, those god rays. Alright, so at the end of this dungeon run, uh, they have this system where, uh, you do, like, this little, like, Pokemon looking thing where you select like f uh, attack defend or heal or something like that it's um, it's almost like at the end of a dungeon where you spin a wheel and you get like an extra prize um, what it does is it, like you have three selections heal attack or defend I think it's heal and um, based on your option you'll f uh, you'll attack this dude once and then he'll give you a, like a little prize for fighting him and I'll show you that in a second when this is done Ooh. Probably gonna die, I'm not very good at this game. Oh, that was pretty cool. I just fought on the ground. I don't know if getting behind him changes the fact that he's gonna attack you, but uh, we can find out. Uh, no, it does not. It's a pretty big troll looking thing. How come everybody hates the trolls? I wonder if they're, they're so nice and they have little fan. Oh, slow mo. It's really, really, really cool. I like that. Um, so, uh, apparently, you can get his gear. So, let's pick that up. Apprentice dressed up. So, I got an S for sexy. For a sexy sinister. I actually don't know what the S means. But, I will move to the bonus stage right now. And this is what the bonus stage is. It's like a Pokemon battle. Or, like a pet battle. So, you play WoW. Alright, so, please select action type. Uh, we're going to go with defend. Because last time I pressed attack. No, we're going to go with attack. Because last time... I oh, never mind. See, this is what happens. All right, so I got defeated. Uh, you get a prize for every single time. You know, last time I hit attack, and I lost. This time I hit defend, and I lost. All right, so we're gonna go back to camp, and we're gonna check out uh, the skills. Um, gate portals that you have already passed through appeared red. Oh, appear red. <laughs> Those appeared. Alrighty. I like the loading screen. It looks pretty cool. Like. 
paint. Alright, so let's check out uh, the stuff that I got from my dungeon run. Uh, I got uh, continuous exp... I didn't get that. I got this. Red is dressed up for mage only. And I don't think you're allowed to um, look at it. Yeah, if you hit control, you can't look at it. Alright, let's open my divine gift box. And I got lowest armor divine stone. What does this do? Let's put it on a titan arm. Uh, just do right now. It's not how you do it. <laughs> how do you do it? Shift, control. Um, cannot enchant. Oh, I guess you can't enchant it or extract it. Can you try it on this? Right, I do not know how to do it. Um, I'm not going to spend the time to find out either. Yeah, this video is getting pretty long. Alright, so let's go to K. It's the generic skill button. Alright, so right now we have Double Kick and Divine Fighter. And the cool thing about this game is it has actual tutorial videos on how to uh, do these spells, but I'm not going to click on them because I'm pretty sure it exits out my game. Exit out my game. I can't speak. Alright, so we have skill points. Four of them. I do not know how to spend them. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure I read the tutorial and you can do it in the... Um, this is the main city where I was just w where I just was. Um, so yeah, guys, this is uh, Divine Souls, um, and it was just relaunched in open beta. It's a game is that is really worth checking out. It's got great fighting. It resembles Terra in a sense. It's got that anime style. And if you enjoyed this video, guys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, guys, have a fantastic day.